if all games have to be made for both the Xbox Scorpio and Xbox One where they have to be cross-compatible and there can't be a Scorpio-exclusive game, the original Xbox One, and of course the Xbox One S, which is just a slightly revamped Xbox One, are going to hold back the Scorpio. No kidding, I saw this coming from a mile away. And it's not just me saying it anymore, it's developers saying it as well. Now, like I said, Microsoft has been touting the Scorpio as an extension of the Xbox One family. They keep on saying that over and over again. Don't worry, if you have an Xbox One or an Xbox One S, you're not gonna be left behind. Which, fine, that may be true, but if that policy holds up for Microsoft, Xbox Scorpio adopters may never see the full potential of their Scorpio system. And Danny Garfield of Casido Games, he's working on some kind of rhythm game called Metronomicon, he feels the same way. Now granted, admittedly, I'll have a link to the trailer of Metronomicon below in the description. His game looks like something that could be made in Flash, but who knows, it could be, a, it's a rhythm game, it could be a lot of fun, you know, I'm not knocking it. It doesn't look like it's really pushing the hardware of the Xbox One, but that doesn't mean he doesn't know what he's talking about. So anyway, Danny Garfield was talking to Gaming Bolt, and this is what he had to say about the Xbox Scorpio. I think it does curtain some ability to take full advantage of all the new tech. Unavoidably, a great many devs will always aim to make their games cross-compatible in the easiest ways. The AAA guys, and plenty of others, will be more aggressive and try to stand out from the pack on tech more, but by and large, will always have to support the original Xbox One, which for many will mean an easiest road. Now it's interesting, I'm gonna quote Gaming Bolt here too as well. This is what Gaming Bolt had to say. The easiest and best thing for Microsoft to do will be to allow developers to make Scorpio exclusives and leverage all of its power effectively. As of right now, there is no indication that this will happen. And they say they're hoping that with the upcoming E3, maybe Microsoft will change their stance on the Scorpio and allow Scorpio exclusive games. Okay, Gaming Bolt, I got to address something you said in the article that I'll have listed below in the description if you want to check it out right away. You're saying you think it's a good idea this E3 if they come out and say, oh yeah, by the way guys, even though the whole past year from last E3 2016 to now, we've been telling you, oh, don't worry about it. If you get an Xbox One or an Xbox One S, all the games that come out for the Scorpio will also be compatible with your Xbox One or Xbox One S. So yeah, don't worry about it. If you don't care about the whole 4K capabilities of the Scorpio, go out and pick up an Xbox One S. You really think, Gaming Bolt, that if Microsoft, this E3 comes out and says, oh yeah, by the way, guys, you know how we said the whole past year that you know if you buy an Xbox One, all the Scorpio games will also work on your Xbox One or Xbox One S? Yeah, we lied about that. There's going to be exclusive Xbox Scorpio games. Sorry, super late April Fool's joke for you. People would lose their minds, understandably. There would be rage everywhere, and that would totally... Microsoft's reputation would go down the crapper, man. So no, Gaming Bolt, it's not a good idea that whenever Microsoft officially reveals the, the Xbox Scorpio, whether it be at E3 or earlier, because there's been rumors they may actually reveal the console earlier, for them to say, yeah, we're actually going to make Scorpio exclusive games. We were lying to you for the whole past year. That would be a terrible business move for them to do that. Totally disagree with you. So now let's talk about what Danny Garfield of Casido Games said. And I'll start off by saying, yes, I totally agree with him. The fact that developers are going to have to make games that work both for the Scorpio and Xbox One S is going to hold the Scorpio back. I have been saying that for eons, and I'm pretty much 100% certain that he's right. And to a degree, that kind of sucks, because what's gonna happen is developers to save time and money may not take full advantage of the Scorpio, possibly ever if this policy from Microsoft stays in place where games have to work for both the Scorpio and the original Xbox One. So the Scorpio having four and a half times more power than the Xbox One S may not mean that much in the end if developers don't truly take advantage of the hardware. But I do feel, and you guys know I've said this countless times before, that down the line, maybe a year and a half down the line, two years down the line, when there are more people buying a Scorpio than the original Xbox One, and there's this huge AAA game from Ubisoft coming out, or from Capcom or whoever, and th those developers go to Microsoft and say, hey man, we need to utilize the extra horsepower of the Scorpio. The game that we are trying to design, 
will not function properly on the original Xbox One or Xbox One S. It's, it's going to be a huge game. It's going to sell tens of millions of copies, but we can't make it for the original Xbox One. Microsoft, can you bend your rule of having to have all games be cross-console compatible and let us just make it for the Scorpio, please? We, like Our multiplayer mode we're trying to work on needs the extra processing and graphics power that the Xbox Scorpio has. Can we just make it for the Scorpio? And I'm telling you, money talks. Microsoft will change their mind and say, you know what? Yeah, fine. Just make it for the Scorpio. If it's going to be a big seller and you need the extra hardware to make the game work properly, do it. We'll bend. We'll finally let developers and publishers make games that are Scorpio exclusive. And one crazy thought that just came into my head, actually, as I was listening to my last audio take, I thought of this. Maybe Microsoft secretly is considering the Xbox Scorpio, their next gen system. They're just saying that it's an extension of the Xbox One to make it an easier pill for consumers to swallow. And in the end, their game plan is, is to have it be the successor to the Xbox One. And in a year's time, year and a half, maybe two years, their game plan is to only have games come out for the Scorpio. Maybe it truly is their next-gen system and they're just being secretive about it because they don't want to piss the consumer off. I'm probably wrong about that. Okay, I'm pretty positive that I'm wrong about that, but again, it wouldn't shock me if that happened. I'm just saying. This is Rich Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.